subscribe the channel for more videos and updates hello all welcome to people's tv in this video we will know how to add remove and customize your own keyboard shortcuts in autocad we can also use keyboard shortcuts for the tools given in the ribbon to make our work more efficient and fast so before starting the work we should know about the default keyboard shortcuts assigned in autocad and how we can add remove or customize the shortcuts according to our need to open the default list of shortcuts go to the manage tab in the ribbons in customization panel click the edit aliases rollout button a drop down list will open up select the edit aliases option from it you will see an autocad notepad window will open up when you scroll down this window you will see the list of all the commands or tools used in autocad with their default keyboard shortcuts in it for example a button is for making arc a and r key together are used for making arrays in autocad l key is used for line command l a for layers c o for copy and many more Generally the keyboard shortcuts in AutoCAD are the first initial or first two initial of that particular command Now as we know every architect designer or engineer have their own working style and specific work format So AutoCAD give us option to remove the default commands or to customize them according to a work style or to add a new shortcut for the command which you frequently use Let's understand them with examples one by one If you want to customize a command, follow the same process as before to open the command list. Then scroll down to the command you want to customize. For example, copy command. As this command is most frequently used, the default keyboard shortcut for copy command is C O. It includes two keys. I want to short it to one key only. So let's change it to C. but c key is already assigned to circle command so autocad will not change the shortcut as circle command is less used than copy command so we can change the default shortcut of circle command from c to ci which are the first two initials of the command now our shortcut keys are changed but to make it effect in the autocad you have to reopen the autocad then only this change will be effected in autocad Now when we reopen the AutoCAD file and use the shortcut key for copy you can see the command has changed from CO to C Similarly if we want to add a new shortcut in the command list let's say layer isolate command which helps in hiding or isolating the objects in the same layer the default shortcut for this command is too long which is lay iso But this command is also frequently used when we are working with multiple layers in the project. So to shorten that, we can add a new shortcut, let's say 1 in the command list at the last of all the commands, which is more handy. Type the shortcut in the same way as other shortcuts are. Otherwise, it will not be accepted in AutoCAD command list. And after adding, removing or customizing a shortcut in command list, Don't forget to save the changes in the notepad. Otherwise, the changes will not be made. Now, close the AutoCAD and open it again so that the changes may get applied. Now when we type 1, you will see the layer isolate command will open up. So this is how you add, remove or customize the keyboard shortcuts in AutoCAD. I hope this video was helpful. Like subscribe and share with your friends and leave your comments for any query